guys, it's Jem here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be talking about my current favorites for the last 3 months. Kasi 3 months lang din yung nakalipa since I did my last favorites video. And they're all right here. And kung may marinig man kayong maingay, um, the reason why I don't film dito sa baba masyado kasi I have 2 dogs. Madalas kasi naglalaro sila so sobrang ingay kung narinig nyo man, pagpasensyahan nyo na. So let's get into my favorites. So, yung first two guys, hindi siya beauty related. And if you know me personally, hindi ako mahilig sa series. I'm more of a uh, movies type of person. Pero ito talagang series na to called Big Little Lies. I'll be inserting a picture somewhere right here. Sobrang ganda niya. Hindi dahil star-studded yung cast niya ha. Well, that's already one thing. Pero maganda kasi talaga yung story. So basically, kung nagustuhan nyo yung Pretty Little Liars, may magkaganon yung pace ng story niya. Talagang meron siyang twist sa dulo, sa dulo ng season. Hil kayo sa thriller, sa mystery, sa... My dog is right here. Gusto niya daw mag-cameo. Hindi ah! pa ito naliligo eh. Diyan ka muna! Ano ba? Lalaro sila. Ano yun? Nawala na tuloy yung train of thought ko. Kung gusto niyo ng mystery, ng rivalry, ng drama, ng mga kung ano ng story, sobrang ganda, niya. sobrang ganda niya. You have to watch it. The next one is actually a song by John Mayer sa Continuum album niya. Um, hindi ko ito masyadong... Napakinggan ko na to before, pero hindi ko siya masyado nagustuhan the first or twice. The first or twice. The first or second time that I heard it, hindi ko siya... Ah, yung araw, nakatapat talaga sa akin. Hindi ko siya masyado nagustuhan the first time and second time na pinakingan ko siya. Pero ang ganda, it's called Stop This Train. And paparinig ko sa inyo, guys. So basically, ito, itong kanta na to is parang yung transition, di ba yung pag nagta-transition tayo from like adolescence to adulthood, yung mga bagay na um, nagbabago sa buhay natin. Like for instance, sabi ni John, parang ayaw niyang makitang kumanta yung parents niya. So kung pwede ba, itigil tong train, meaning yung life. Kasi sobrang bilis daw ng pangyayari sa buhay niya. If he can just stay in that place forever, gagawin niya. Pero syempre, diba like this train, unstoppable talaga siya kasi dulo-dulo eh. Kailangan talaga pumunta from point A to point B. Hindi pwede mag-stop over. So, it just makes me realize every single time I hear the song, na sobrang bilis talaga ng buhay. Like, ngayon pa nga lang, diba, it's already October. Yeah, October na and we're two months shy away from welcoming another year that is 2018. So, sobrang bilis talaga ng panahon. It just makes me realize so many things in my life. And, um, yun, I guess if there's anything that you feel like you want to do in your life, wala nang perfect time to do it than now. So, yun. Let's get into the beauty favorites. Finally! Anyway, unahin ko na tong castor oil. Um, ililink ko na lang yung um, seller nito. I got this from Shopee. And 40 pesos lang siya. So, I got two for my lashes and my eyebrows. Hindi naman sparse yung eyebrows ko, pero... Dahil uso-uso ngayon yung medyo thick yung brows, um, nilalagyan ko na rin siya. Pero it's really for my eyelashes more than anything else. So hopefully as I continue to use this, mas uh, maging lashes pa yung <laughs> lashes ko. Pero so far, I am liking the results of this one. Next one is this Carmex Classic. Moisturizing lip balm. I got this in Beauty MNL for like 140 pesos or 139 to be specific. And so brang ganda nito, guys. Kinagamit ko to before I go to bed. My gosh. I use this before um, I go to bed. And so brang, guys, I honestly just wake up with super duper soft lips. And before ako mag apply ng makeup, um, tinadab ko lang siya. And then I wipe it off with a tissue afterwards before I apply um, uh, lipstick. So, Nagusin ko na rin dahil nag-start na ako sa lip balm. Um, I-mention ko na rin tong lips, ay Happy Skin Glam Squad Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Jix Mayuga. I'm not sure if this is still available and I believe this is a limited edition shade. Yung nakipag-collaborate yung Happy Skin sa mga um, famous uh, dito, famous makeup artists of the celebrities. 
So, yan. Magandang shade to for everyday. Medyo may pagka-cool tone nga lang siya. So, this is very similar to if you already have the shade um, Pasadena from Ofra. Very similar sila, I think. And, pero mas matte nga lang to. Yung sa Ofra kasi, I haven't tried that, pero natry ko na siya sa, ano, sa counter. Um, tawag dito, mas, mas, mas matagal siya mag-dry compared dito. Pero sobrang ganda nito. Ayan. Alright, so the next one is highlighters. Ayan. So I have the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and then the Becca. Ito yung travel size eh. Very ideal to for me kasi syempre pag nagta-travel ka, di ba, kung pupunta kung saan-saan, madali lang siyang ilagay sa bag. Ganun. Hindi siya pabigat, kumbaga sa makeup kit or sa bag mo kasi sobrang liit lang niya. And let's face it, di ba, sobrang tagal naman natin makaubos ng mga highlighter or mga powder. So, sobrang ideal talaga yung mga travel size, um, deluxe size sa akin. Ayan. So, I'm gonna give you a swatch. This is what I'm using right now on my, um, on my cheeks, I'm using the opal shade. When I got this, akala ko parang may pagka may pagka brown siya on my skin. Pero when I used it, sobrang ganda pa na niya. Alright, this is the essence. And right next to it is yung Becca. Tama ba? Yung tinuturo ko. Ayan. So, sana nagpo-focus yung camera. Kasi, ano, sira yung ano ko, ano bang tawag sa flip top na, flip top, yung nag-flip up na thingy. So, hindi ko makita kung magpo-focus yung tinuturo ko or hindi. But, yan. Mas ano lang si Essence, mas pink, and mas less shimmer siya compared sa Becca. Diba? Ayun. Pero, I love them both, just the same. Ito for everyday highlighting. Ito yung ginagamit ko talaga. Next one is from CoverGirl Stay Outlast Foundation in the shade 832. This is not a perfect match for me. Um, I mix this up with a uh, yellow tone concealer kasi medyo pink siya. Pero as the day goes on, medyo nag adjust naman siya sa skin tone ko which is super nice that it does that. Because, um, gusto ko talaga yung coverage niya. As in, kung alam ko na maaga ako pupunta ng school and then I'll go back later na, as in later na, much later, as in gabi na. This is what I use. Kasi alam ko pang matagalan siya. And konting blot lang talaga yung kailangan ko. And it, it still looks good. I just apply it with a damp beauty blender and then it gives me the most full coverage. Uh, coverage. Okay, so I love this. Again, shade 8. 3-2. Nakuha ko pa to ng sale, guys. As in, 399 ko lang siya nakuha when it's originally priced at 850. Basta, halos ka-presyo na yung Revlon, eh. When you buy it sa mall, ha? Halos ka-presyo na yung Revlon color stay. Speaking of damp beauty blenders, ha! Oh my gosh. As in, ngayon ko lang to tinry, guys. As in, months ago ko lang siya tinry. Ever since I started using makeup, the only thing that I use is my fingertips. And for a while, that's worked for me. Kasi medyo feeling ko sa ganit, sa price point niya for me, being a student and all, medyo, ano siya, medyo splurred siya. Kasi sponge, almost 1,000. Parang, what? Pero dahil sa dami ng reviews na nakikita ko, sobrang airbrush daw nung effect niya, I decided to just go for it and then buy it. And guys, hindi ako na-disappoint kasi every time I apply my foundation, sobrang airbrush talaga yung itsura. I read somewhere na you're supposed to replace your beauty blender every three months and I'm like, what? That soon? Feeling ko naman pwede ko pa tong patagalin dahil ako lang naman gumagamit ng beauty blender na to. But anyway, sobrang ganda nito. If gusto nyo talaga ng flawless airbrush na um, effect sa inyong face or sa inyong result ng makeup, then you have to get this. I think it really is a must-have if you are a if you are really into makeup and you just wanna ace your base. So the next one is Peri Pera Peri's Ink Velvet and then Airy Ink Velvet. So I have it in the shades um, number six or solid deep rose. And then, I have it in, you know, sa Eri, I have it in the shade Elf Light Rose or yung number 5. So, I'm gonna sh swatch. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. This is, the darker one is the Celeb Deep Rose. And then, the lighter one is Elf Light Rose. Ang ayaw ko lang sa kanila, guys, 
is yung kanilang yung kanilang amoy, medyo off putting yung amoy niya. Ito honestly para siyang masyado siyang mabango. Ayun, no, parang parang siyang pabango na sobrang alam mo yung cheap na pabango na masakit sa mas, masakit sa ilong. Ayun. And then this one, para namang hair dye. Nawawala siya, definitely. Pero as you're putting it, di ba parang, is it really necessary na mabango yung lipstick natin? Like, kahit naman may humalik sa'yo, hindi naman malalasahan or maaamoy ng hahalik sa'yo yan, di ba? So, for my personal preference, the only thing I don't like about these is yung talagang amoy nila. Like, I feel like it would be better without it. Pero shade-wise, I'm loving it. I've been using this non-stop. And itong Elf Light Rose, gamit ko siya. Diba naka-gradient ako dito? Siya yung nasa ilalim. Um, siya yung base ko para may pagka-gradient effect. And then on top, I just dabbed a dark lipstick. If you guys are wondering. So, next is this one. The Pixie. <clears throat> Kanina pa ako naano. Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. As you can see, well used tong mist na to sa akin kasi paubos na siya. Um, it's a bit pricey pero I feel like magagamit mo naman siya ng todo-todo kasi ang ganda talaga ng results nito guys. As in, if you want like an everyday, dewy, healthy looking skin pero you still wanna wear makeup, this is it. This is what I use on most days more than my other facial space and sobrang fan ako ng mga makeup sprays kasi it really does make a difference eh, in the result of your makeup sobrang ako kasi hindi naman ako after yung pag pang prolong ng makeup I feel like there are other brands that you could go for if that's your um, priority pero for me kasi since I'm still going to school I want my makeup to look as natural as possible and this is what I always spray after putting on my makeup and it never fails me guys as in it never fails me sobrang ganda you have to try it the next thing is this Mumoso fruits essence hand cream um if pinakita ko sa inyo yung bago pero yung ginagamit ko talaga for school kasi nasa bag ko um you can buy this in Mumoso uh 99 pesos dalawa na so yung other one like i said it's in my bag and I super duper love to use this kasi para siyang essence nga for your um, hands. Diba you know essence medyo watery siya, medyo light and madaling ma-absorb. And whenever I um, wash my hands kasi outside, hindi ako sanay na walang lotion. Ayoko nung super squeaky feeling yung dry na dry na dry talaga on my on my uh, finger and my hands. Ayoko yun. So I make sure that I put something. Ayoko naman ng sobrang moisturizing na um, ang daling, feeling ko kasi ang daling kumapit ng germs pag ganun. So, as much as possible, I just want to use a, a light moisturizer, a light lotion, and this is just perfect. As in, this just keeps my hands moisturized without the icky feeling that you typically get from heavy hand creams and such. So, I really love this one, and it smells great as well. Well, I haven't used this one, but the one that I'm using right now, it's really good. And it absorbs in like 30 seconds, max. Mabilis na yun. Parang mag-aamoy lang din sila. Medyo naaamoy mo na kahit naka-seal pa siya. Medyo dumalabas na yung amoy niya. Okay. So, the last one. Oh, not yet the last one. Pero, yeah. For my hair, this is what I like to use. Beach Born Sea Salt. All Natural Sea Salt Spray. And it looks like this. So, um, pagkaka-wash ko ng hair ko before I go to sleep, this is what I use. Pagkagising ko sa umaga, medyo may, pag, may pa-wave na yung hair ko. So, ang ginagawa ko dito, ini-spray ko siya sa ends ng aking hair. Tapos, um, itatay ko siya sa bun. Like this. As in, separate ha. This side, itatay ko sa bun. And then, the other side, I'll also tie it in a bun. Para... In the morning when I wake up, sobrang ganda ng wave. As in, parang nag-plancha, ganun. Pero natural looking lang. And you guys, sobrang ano lang talaga nito. Affordable. It's only 180 pesos. You can buy it in Beauty Manila. As I'm speaking right now, uh, free shipping sila. So if you want to try it, you guys just have to try it. Sobrang ganda niya. This is their Versace Regi Regins? <laughs> Regins um, Uda Toilette. Uh, my mom gave this to me when she went abroad. Tapos, at first, sabi ko, ayoko kasi parang amoy pang matanda. Pero, when I tried it on, when I wore it for a full day, 
parang nung naamoy ko yung sarili ko, parang halos, parang lalong bumabag, bumabagyo, bumabango siya <laughs> as the day goes on. So, sabi ko, sige, akin na lang. And hindi naman ako mahilig sa pabango, guys. Honestly, I just spray whatever is available. And feeling ko tatagal siya sa akin ng two years, mga ganun. Kasi literal, one spray lang talaga every single day for the rest of my body. Like, I put it here, I put it here, sa pulse mga pulse areas. Yun. And lastly, I just want to show you guys, I went to, ano ba yan? Talagang nilangang. I went to H&M and then I purchased this ring set. It only cost me one, uh, 100 pesos for the whole thing. Sobrang saleable lang mga jewelry, I mean mga accessories nila. Kasi not only is it affordable, sobrang um, ang lakas rin maka, ano, ang lakas rin maka ganda ng kamay. Kahit hindi man maganda yung kamay. Ko. So, ang ganda. 100 pesos lang. Punta na kayo sa H&M. Yun lang. So that is it for my favorites video, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on my channel. And if you're not subscribed to me yet, don't forget to subscribe as well for future uploads. So until then, see you guys. Bye!